What's poppin' nasty gang? It's your girl Jay Nasty on the mic and today I'm back with another Brooke Heights video. So this video, I'm gonna be helping you troubleshoot your game. So if for any reason you did not install it properly, your save files are not loading properly, you're getting error messages or anything like that, then this is the video for you. We're going to be going over 13 very common issues and how to fix them as well as how to uninstall the game properly. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in or need help with, then definitely stay tuned. But before we get into all of that, I'm gonna ask that you subscribe to become part of the Nasty Gang family because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. And also show me some love downstairs by liking the video for me or comment down below anything you want or if you have any questions or concerns, anything like that, then make sure to hit me up in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram at Nasty on the mic. Now let's get into the troubleshooting guide for the Brook Heights open world mod. I ain't trying to hurt nobody, I'm just trying to be somebody, I ain't trying to hurt so for the first issue, we have a data incomplete or items removed message. So this error message simply means that you don't own all of the packs. So some items are removed or deleted only because you don't have all the packs to have the items in your game, but you should be fine and you can continue playing. It's just that some items or interactions are gonna be missing. The second issue is the story mode save file not showing up. So if your save file is not showing up, then you need to download the latest version, which is 1.0. Oh, as of right now. You can rename the link if you need to by adding one to the most recent save file. So for instance, if your save file is 005, then you can rename it to 006. Or for Mac users, if it's 00E, you can rename it to 00F. That could also be the case in case a save file you have is named the exact same as the Brook Heights save file. Issue number three is error 804. So for error 804, you need to make sure that you have loaded up the latest version of Brook Heights. And right now that's version 1.0. The earlier versions and the beta versions are are no longer compatible with the game, so you need to make sure that you have the latest update. Number four is gonna be Era 811. So for Era 811, you need to make sure that your game is updated to the latest patch. After updating, then you need to reinstall the mod completely, and this should solve Era 811 for you. Number five is if your 3D map view is not working. So this is common for manual installs. Now that we have an installer, this shouldn't be a problem. But for those of you who are manually installing, you need to make sure that you put that camera.ini file in the proper res folder. So you have to follow the installation instructions very carefully and make sure that if you have any other camera mods at all, then you need to uninstall them. Number six is also for manual installation. Number six has to do with the files under your area folder. So some people have been deleting all the files in the folder, but this isn't necessary. You only need to delete two files and that's ep01 underscore retails underscore 01 dot world and ep01 underscore civic center underscore 02 dot world. Those are the only ones that have to be deleted and replaced when adding the new custom ones. So I recommend just copying and pasting them and pressing replace. All other files in that folder, however, remain. For number seven, people are having some trouble with the subfolders in the actual mod section. So many script mods won't work if they're put in too deep into too many subfolders. So some people are deleting subfolders. This isn't necessary. You just copy and paste the entire Brook Heights full build folder into your mods folder and it should be good to go. Number eight is getting to Brook Heights. If you don't wish to play the story mode and you just wanna get straight there, or you're importing Brook Heights into a different save file, then you can get straight there by simply clicking on your Sims mailbox. Once you click on the mailbox, a go to Brook Heights cheat interaction will appear. Or if you did complete the story mode, then you can always go to the airport. Issue number nine is an infinite loading screen. If your game is continuing to load and nothing happens, then it could be one of two things. Make sure that your computer itself has enough storage space available to run the game, and also make sure that your script mods are enabled in your game options. Sims 4 updates can be really glitchy though, and this can also be a cause for this error. So if you're trying to troubleshoot it and you've made sure you have enough space and script mods are enabled, then a Sims 4 update may also be the culprit. Because in the time of making this video, a lot of people are experiencing this because the snowy escape patch broke the game severely. So if this is the case for you, 
than wait patiently for a fix update. Number 10 is very common and it's your sim not being able to swim when they get to Magnolia Promenade. So in the story mode, you have to swim out to their father's boat and a lot of people have not been able to get their sims to swim out there. This means that your world files have not been installed properly. So you need to go back and follow the installation instructions again. So I recommend removing Brook Heights from your game completely, repairing it, and then starting over with the installation. 11 is for macOS users, and that's not being able to find the Sims 4 dot app. For some Mac users, the Sims 4 dot app is not located in the main applications directory. So if you can't find it, then you can find it here. Feel free to pause the screen. Number 12 is two Magnolia Promenade icons showing up on your world screen or Willow Creek not appearing at all. To fix this, then you need to update your game to the latest version. And this does not include legacy. Lastly, issue number 13 is interactions not showing up or having a blank bubble with an icon. This can easily be fixed by making sure the mod is updated to the latest version, which right now is 1.0, but updated to the latest version at the time of you watching this video. Those are all of the very common issues. So I'm also gonna just go over quickly how to uninstall Brook Heights in case you need to do it to fix any of these issues. So you wanna take out the Brook Heights full build from your mods folder and the save file from your saves folder. Then head on over to origin and right click on the Sims 4 and choose to repair game. All previously replaced files will go back to normal and I have an entire video on this on my channel as well as how to download and install Brook Heights and how to import it into any of your saves. So if you guys want any help with any of that, then head on over to my channel. I have an entire Brook Heights playlist where I help you guys with all things Brook Heights. So definitely subscribe to follow along and become part of the Nasty Gang family because I am always keeping you guys up to date on Brook Heights news, updates, and things like that. Also, feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and comment down below anything you want or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. And also feel free to hit me up on Instagram at Jane Nasty on the mic for a faster response. Thank you guys so much. That's gonna be it for me tonight. Jay Nasty out. Peace and love. You could be the queen, I'll be rose. The river da, river da, river da, river da. When I get my engine started, do it, then I'll rev it up. He want me to behave, but I ain't fake, can't switch up. I cuss like a sailor. I don't iron shoes, but you make sure I'm tailored. Everything.